Welcome back to New Day Northwest. Solving a Rubik's Cube is already pretty hard for a lot of people, like this people. But aerospace engineer Bailey Burns has taken solving one to new heights. She successfully solved a Rubik's Cube while floating in zero gravity. And I may have asked her for some help figuring this thing out. What exactly does an aerospace engineer do? So the short of it is I keep humans alive in space. Um, I do life support systems for spacecraft and spacesuits. So that's like CO2 removal, pressure control, um, providing oxygen, all those things that we have down here on Earth that we take for granted. Have you always been interested in STEM? I actually kind of, I mean, I've always had an interest in STEM, but for a long time, I was one of those that was like, oh, that's not for me. I can't do that. So I thought about becoming a journalist because I wanted to write about people doing cool science things. And then I got into an engineering school and I realized, you know, very slowly, oh, I can do these things. And because I didn't have this pre-notion, I just kept following what I thought was cool. And I mean, rockets are cool. Space is cool. So that's how I ended up in the space industry. Well, I think you can do both actually now. You should write oh, so we can also read about the amazing things you do. So you also have a passion for solving Rubik's Cubes. And I have to admit, I've never done it except without removing the stickers. And I'm sorry to announce that there are no longer stickers on the Rubik's Cubes. But you can do it, right? How fast can you solve one? Uh, so my record, when I have two feet firmly planted on Earth, um, I can do it in about 16 seconds. That's my record. 16 seconds? Mm-hmm. Wow. I, I understand that you solved a Rubik's Cube in zero gravity. And at some point you were upside down doing this. Tell us about that. That was a pretty wild experience. Uh, so zero gravity, it's not, I did not go to space. I did a zero G simulator, which is an airplane that flies in a parabolic arc. And on the down part, you're in free fall back towards earth but it's all falling at the same speed. So that's where you get the simulated zero gravity. Um, and wow. yeah, because of that, that's exactly right. I was upside down. I was, you know, my bumping into things, my head hit the ceiling. I ran into this person, my arms were floating up. It was just kind of complete chaos all while I was trying to solve this Rubik's cube, which we only have about 20 seconds to do. Oh my gosh, but you did it. I did it. Yes, I was able to do it successfully. <laughs> wow, 19 seconds, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, I, I mean, I have to say, there is definitely a certain kind of brain that can do that, but could you, could you help me? Could you help me figure this out? Can you give me some tips? Like, I, I hate to have one that's already done and then have to mix it up, but like, how do you go from a completely scrambled cube and like, where do you start? Yeah, of course. Well, I like to say that with Rubik's cubes, it's a lot like life. You don't just magically start off with a solved cube and like it's step by step. So the first thing that you do, I'm going to kind of go along as I do this, which is always hard to talk and do this at the same time. The okay. first thing you do is you pick a color and you make, you start filling in that side. So I oh, like, things. okay. Yeah. A lot of people choose white. That's just kind of like a standard thing in the Rubik's community. Um, so it's not, it's not just about like, yeah. Magically I keep losing my white squares. What am I doing <laughs> wrong? It takes a lot of time because every time you try to do one thing, you know, six things mess up over here because you're focused yeah. on it. <laughs> so then once you get one complete side, the next step is you start solving the next layers along it. So when I did this side, I was also solving for these two layers. And then you line up to get the top side like that. And then you just kind of, you know, not everything is in the right place. So the, the hardest thing about this is it takes a lot of time. You have to learn a lot of algorithms to eventually get to the right place. But if you think about it as a step-by-step, -step, I do this side, then I do this side. It makes a lot more sense. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think, I don't know. I could sit here all day and I doubt that I would solve this, but I will tell you this, it's a darn good thing that I am not in charge of people's life support systems up in space. There's a huge push for young girls and young women to get involved in STEM. You yourself said you didn't think it was something that you'd be able to do. What is your advice to young girls who do like looking at the stars, who do want to get into aerospace or engineering or science of any sort? Well, for one, like I did, just keep following your passion. Just whenever you're like, oh, that's cool. Keep chasing that down because that's, that's the fun part. Um, Erno Rubik, who invented the Rubik's Cube, he's got this really good quote that's, um, if you're curious, you will discover the puzzles around you. And if you're determined, you will solve them. And that's exactly what engineering is. That's what STEM is. That's what STEAM is. It's about being curious and creative and having fun. And then when you find something, you like staying really determined and following it all the way through. I love it. Thank you. Such great advice. Before I let you go, I do have to ask, 
Is that the Star Wars Rebel insignia I see you wearing <laughs> around your neck? Yes, yes, this is my Rebel necklace. I wear it every day. Um, there was a brief amount of time I did not wear it. It was because my mentor actually took it with her to space. So this is my space necklace to remind me to keep going towards the stars. <laughs> I love it. Do you hope one day to go to space? That's the goal. Um, yeah, no idea what the steps in between there are, but the end goal is, is to the moon, yeah. And I have no idea, no, no doubt, I should say, that she's going to get there.